Exola Site Builder is an agile website construction tool that lets you create customizable, conversion-optimized landing pages to sell your games. This video will show you how to use Site Builder to create a landing page that sells your game the way you want, as game keys, founders packs, or pre-orders. By the end of this video, you'll know how to create the basic framework of your landing page, set up your page's theme and upload assets, complete and arrange a series of modules or blocks to display content, and adjust your page's SEO, domain name, and other important settings. Before you can create your first landing page, make sure that you've created a project for your game in your Exola Publisher account. First, log into your Publisher account and open the project that you want to create a landing page for. Connect your project to Site Builder and review the terms and conditions. When you're ready, check the box to agree and select Create a Landing Page. Next, choose how you want to create your landing page. You have a few options, such as parsing data from your game's listing on Google Play or Steam to automatically generate a landing page in one click. In this video, we're going to create our landing page from a new template. Before we start to design your page, let's take a quick look at SiteBuilder's code-free interface. SiteBuilder lets you construct landing pages using a series of web modules or blocks. Each block is designed to emphasize a different aspect of your game. For example, the Call to Action block introduces and builds excitement for your game, while the Packs block lets you specify what each game package contains. Blocks can be added, removed, duplicated, and arranged any way you want. The area on the left-hand side of the screen is where you select, place, and edit your blocks. After you make a change, the preview area on the right-hand side will update. To view your updated page in its own window, hit the Preview button at the bottom of the screen. OK, now we're ready to start laying out your page. First, configure the global theme. This is where you can customize the background and other design elements of your page. To use a static image as a background, select Page Background and upload the image file. Choose a presentation style for the image and apply a tint if you like. The background of your page can either be a video or a static image. To create a video background, simply upload a video to YouTube and enter the video's unique ID. The video will automatically loop. To make sure that visitors to your page can see the video, be careful not to set it as private or age-restricted. Next, you can personalize several attributes of your page's theme, such as text color, button color, and the roundness of your buttons. By default, your landing page will be displayed in English. To display your page in another language, go to the Widgets section and check the box for the new language. A drop-down field will appear in the top left corner of the preview area that lets you toggle between each language's version of your page. To upload visual assets for your page, select Assets in the left-hand navigation menu and choose which images to upload. Now we're ready to look at some blocks, starting with the Call to Action block. First, choose from the available layout options. Keep an eye on the preview area to help you decide which one to use. You can also choose an image to act as the background of this individual block and customize its appearance. Within the preview area, upload your game's logo and input its name. Edit the text below the name to introduce your game to visitors. This is your chance to sell visitors on your game's story, characters, gameplay mechanics, the world it inhabits, or just how fun it is to play. So make it count. Next, choose an action for the button in this block. You can also include a link to your game's listing on Google Play or add a field to let your page's visitors join a mailing list. And, very important, platforms your game is available on. The Packs block is the area where you can display two, three, or four game packs that are available for purchase. To link each pack to the correct package in Exola Store, select the corresponding SKU in the drop-down menu. If you haven't already integrated Exola Store and created packages for sale, check out our video about creating and selling game keys with Exola. For the description block, you can choose a general layout, set a background image, choose a visual asset to display, and edit the heading and supporting text in the same way as before. To customize its appearance, you can select a background color, select images, and edit the title and description of each pack. 
The gallery block lets you add a slideshow of high-res images that showcase unique or interesting artwork of characters, items, locations, or story moments from your game. In addition to uploading images, you can select a background color for this block, toggle a slider shadow and slider arrows, and choose if it should loop. The System Requirements block lets visitors know which systems your game is compatible with, and each system's minimum requirements for optimal gameplay. Typically, this block is situated toward the bottom of your page. In this block, you can set a background image, select which system's requirements to display, and specify the values for each system's requirements. Finally, the footer lets you add links to your game's social media pages and specify age restriction and PEGI rating for your game. Once your page is fully designed, you can adjust its SEO settings to make it more attractive to visit when users perform organic searches and sharing. You can upload a favicon, set up the image and text that accompanies Facebook sharing posts, and customize the preview for Google search results. Finally, visit your publisher account to select a name and domain name for your landing page. If you want to set up your own domain, follow the instructions provided in the interface. You can also connect third-party services that will help you track your site's traffic, build and measure audiences for your advertising campaigns, track actions that users perform after engaging with your ads on Twitter, and manage JavaScript and HTML tags that track your site's traffic. To connect any of these services, select Connect and follow the instructions provided. If everything looks good and you've signed the corresponding legal documentation in your publisher account, you're ready to publish. For more information on how to build a conversion-optimized landing page with Exola Site Builder, you can contact your account manager. You can also email our account management team at am@exola.com. Thanks for watching and always remember to enjoy the game.